Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. You're watching Klaus to the Heart here on YouTube.com. I am Jason Klaus. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're coming back to the second segment, the last segment of the show here. A couple of things I want to discuss, and this is, you know, full disclosure. This is going to be a little bit more aggressive. The, I'm going to try to watch the language. Uh, we'll see how it goes here. <laughs> um... But this is something that is, um, you know, it's been on my mind for the last few days here. And, uh, you know, you got, you got to be careful when you tread this kind of water because you know that there is going to be backlash one way or the other. And that's perfectly fine. But uh, um, we all know, you all know, you know, I am, I am a member of the UAW, the local 598 out of Flint. And I am one of 48,000 people that are on strike against General Motors right now. And as of this recording, this is day 25 of the strike. And um, some observations, more or less. And just the way that I look at things. And I don't look at things the, way the, the same way other people do, and I realize that. Um, and, you know, with that comes, you know, that I've gotten more than a couple of emails, you know, from previous episodes that I've discussed the, the strike on that really, um, you know, they, it, it is what it is. You know, they, they, they take exception to something that I have said. And, you know, for the most part, I've been able to maintain a cordial conversation through email or text messages or even, you know, face to face when I'm on the picket line. Um, here's the thing, though, you know, the longer this thing goes, um, the more negativity starts to come into play, especially with the media. Because the media will, you know, they, they will tell you they have an obligation to report the news. Um, when they're, I think, in my opinion, when they are not getting the juicy news that they so seek, uh, they will find um, anything and everything to make a story out of. And this is when it comes, you know, this is where... So, social media starts to become a deterrent, really. Because social media, Facebook specifically, gives us an, an avenue to where we can just, you know, type out, you know, a great big all long post about your personal feelings and things of this nature. And, you know, you hit the post button and it's there for the whole world to see. And um, we all have different opinions. We all have different reasons um, of why we're doing this, why we support this. And I'm here to tell you that something of this magnitude with, with the strike and everything, it has brought out the absolute best in people. And I'm finding that the longer this thing goes, it starts to bring out the worst in people. Now, to my brothers and sisters of the union. Let me say this, um, we need to be more vigilant on how we perceive ourselves, how we uh, put ourselves out there for the world to see. Because make no mistake about it, you may think that um, you may be posting something that just your friends list is seeing, and I'm here to tell you that but by hook or by crook, other people outside of your friends list are seeing what you're posting. And with the magnitude that this strike has caused, I mean, you're talking about, you know, not just the employees that are laid off. You're talking about the smaller companies that supply our company with the parts and the components needed to build vehicles. They're starting to lay people off. There's, you know, it's a trickle down effect. You know, it has shut down plants in Mexico and Canada. And it's really, I mean, the trickle down effect is really starting to rear its ugly head. And it's unfortunate. 
and it and it sucks that it ha that it has had to go as long as it as it has. Fact of the matter is, is it doesn't have to. You know, the the fact of the matter is, is that I firmly believe, and and this is just my opinion. I am a business owner. Okay, I run a couple of di different businesses, and one of them I have a roster of 40 plus people. And now I understand as a business owner, I am not going to make all 40 people happy on any given day. It's not going to happen. They are not, not it's impossible to get that many people happy, generally 100% happy, all of the time. But there is a respect factor, and that has to be taken into a, into consideration. Especially if you are in a position to where you are the decision maker on what happens to your roster. In this in this case, with the strike, it's the CEO of General Motors who has essentially, you know, in in my view, more often than not during the course of this thing has really turned her back on the driving force that has made that company as successful as it is. I've talked about it in, in, in previous episodes. The general perception from the public that is not affiliated or affected by this UAW versus General Motors strike uh, they're real quick to just, you know, start running their mouths on social media over things that they have no idea what they're talking about. Now, we as union members, and a lot of you have identified yourself as union members just s simply by putting the UAW logo as your profile picture, you then become part of that fabric. You are also part of the representation that the general public sees. When people drive up and down Van Slyke Road in uh, Flint, Michigan, or down Bristol Road, um, you know, all depending on what gate that we are, are manning on that particular day, the general public is watching you. The general public is seeing how you conduct yourselves in a public environment. And when you are walking the picket line for this strike, you are in the, I mean, you are right square in the middle of the public eye. How you present yourself is, is a representation of the union as a, as a, as a whole. We have to maintain utmost professionalism we have to maintain the utmost respect especially to those people those organizations those entities that have supported each and every one of us since day one of this strike whether they whether it's being they bring food and water and firewood and 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 things to make our lives a little bit easier you know, if we are perceived as a bunch of spoiled brats who are not taking this thing seriously, you're going to see that support start to dwindle. It is crucial, brothers and sisters, that we maintain a level of professionalism. And I'm here to tell you, you know, twerking amongst the groups of you is not the best way to present our to present yourself and to represent the UAW. I, I've driven by on my non-picket nights and I've seen it. I've seen pictures of it. I've seen videos of it. And yeah, okay, we're trying to keep things light. I get that. I understand it and it is important. However, there is a fine line between, between what is perceived to be in a decent way to keep the atmosphere light and to make the best out of an unfortunate, you know, set of circumstances than it is to be, per to be perceived as trash, okay? And now when I see, and I hate to be the one to say this, and perhaps I'm the only one who feels this way, but if you're out there, you know, rubbing up against one another in, um, in a way that could be uh, just just as well suited for a strip club versus a picket line 
that's a problem. And that's a huge problem. Because I'm a union member. And I'm seeing that. What do you think is going to happen when somebody who is not a union member, furthermore, does not support the strike? What do you think they're doing when, when they see that? They're taping it. Everybody's got cell phones. Everybody has a capability to record this stuff. They put it on social media, and it makes you look like an asshole, and it makes the entire UAW look like assholes. And I'm here to tell you, I don't appreciate having a small group of people who have lost their goddamn minds, apparently, because the longer this thing goes, the more we are starting to veer off what we are supposed to do. Because we are forgetting that we are representations of this union. The ones that are fighting for our futures. While you're out there twerking and doing all kinds of other stupid crap, it makes the entire union look bad. And that's why, folks, the general public, slowly but surely, are starting to turn on us. And they're, and they're continuing to label us as lazy and entitled people who don't deserve what we are fighting for. I deserve what I'm fighting for. A lot of you, the majority of you, you deserve what we're fighting for. It's time to get back on the right path. It's time to put the silly bullshit aside and focus on what's important. What's important is the fight. What's important is to make sure that the company knows we are not going anywhere. And it's important that the public knows that we are not going anywhere. We are one. We are union strong. Don't be that one minority. Do not be that cog, that, that wrench in the works that unravels everything that we have done up to this point. The Solidarity Sunday things are incredible. An incredible show of solidarity. It's time, brothers and sisters, to get back on the path, to get back on the same page, because I'm here to tell you the page where the twerking and the whatever the hell else is going on, I do not su subscribe to that page. A lot of people that I know, my co-workers, my other brothers and sisters, they do not su subscribe to that page, and they do not deserve to be painted as somebody that is affiliated with that. Keep that in mind the next time you are out on the picket line. With that being said, thank you for watching this episode of Klaus to the Heart. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. If you have an idea for the show, comments or, or concerns or questions or anything like that, Klaus to the Heart at gmail.com is the email address, or you can send it, you know, to our Facebook page at Klaus of the Heart. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Klaus of the Heart.